Good morning students. Hope all are fine and safe. Welcome to today's session. Yesterday we have learnt about balanced diet. Children are you following it? Yes, we must follow the balanced diet to strengthen our immune system. Let's move on to today's topic. Dear children, look at this. I have kept this milk packet and dry chili here. Now what would happen if I keep these two items for the whole day? The next day can I use this milk? No. So what will happen? The milk get spoiled. But this dry chili does not get spoiled. Have you noticed your mom keeping milk packets in refrigerator? Do you know why? To preserve it from spoiling it. Yes, today our topic is food preservation. Let's move on to our topic food preservation. First let's understand what is preservation. Preservation is a process that keeps organic things from decomposing and spoiling it. Why we need to preserve the food? Air and moisture help germs to grow on food. So preservation helps to stop the growth of germs and helps to preserve the food for later use. Let's move on to the various methods of food preservation. They are drying method, pickling method, refrigerating method, deep freezing method, canning and bottling method. Let's start discuss each method of food preservation in detail. First we look into the drying method. In drying method, food is preserved by removing the water content in it. It is one of the oldest method of food preservation. Children, we can find many examples for drying method in our kitchen itself. Look into this. Here we have raisins. Do you know how raisins are made? Grapes are dried to form raisins. And also other dry fruits like cashews, almond or preserved by drying method. Spices like pepper, jeera, dried red chillies, cinnamon, bay leaf, cardamom. All these items are preserved by drying method. In pickling method, food items are mixed with salt and oil to preserve it. Here, salt is acting as a preservative agent. Example for pickling method is pickling of lemon, mango and other vegetables. The next one is refrigerating method. From the name itself we can understand that in this process food items are stored in cold temperature like refrigerators in our homes. So the cold temperature in refrigerator is about 4 degrees C helps to slow down the growth of germs in the food items. Example, we can store fruits, vegetables and cooked food items to preserve it for a short period of time. That is for 3 to 4 days. In hot summer days, we all like to eat ice cream. Isn't it? Yes. So where we will store this one? Yes, we will store it in the freezer only. So the next one we are going to see is deep freezing method. Some food items need to be stored in a very cold temperature to preserve it. Deep freezing method helps to preserve the food for a longer time. See there are some examples. We can preserve meat, fish, fruits and vegetables and ice cream in deep freezing method. The next one is canning and bottling method. Canning method refers to the process of preserving food in tin cans. And bottling method refers to the process of preserving food in bottles or glass jars. In this method of canning and bottling, cooked or processed food items are preserved in glass jars or bottles and sealed tightly in a proper way. Then these cans are kept in a hot water for boiling to kill the remaining bacteria in it. Let's recall what we learned today. Food preservation is a process that helps to prevent the food from getting spoiled and to preserve it for later use. Then we went to the various methods of food preservation. In drying method, food is dried to remove the excess water in it. And in pickling method, the food items are mixed with salt and oil to preserve it. And in 
refrigerating matter. The food items are stored in cold temperature to preserve it for a short period of time. And in deep freezing method, food items are stored in a very cold temperature to preserve it for a longer time. In canning and bottling method, food items are stored in airtight jars and cans to preserve it. That's all for today children. Thank you.